Bros, let's be serious. I'm gonna crush this game first try. Let's be serious now. Alright, so if we position our pikemen in front of the onslaught of the swordsmen, if we position our other swordsmen to cover the flank, we should be... Oh, whoa, okay, they're, okay, they're charging in. Okay, I'll protect the house. What the... What's going on here? Pikes are not working on offense? Uh, okay, we'll retreat them. Retreat to the top of the cliff and heal them up. We'll use the swordmasters to eliminate the threat. Okay, another boat and another landing party approaching from the other shore. Position on the high ground going to meet head on. Uh, okay, they are landing a lot more blows than us. What is going on? We should have the high ground here. And they go for the house instead of finishing off our guy? Uh, pikemen are still not coming out even though the house is on fire? This is crazy. Another landing party. What the heck is going on? Okay, well, I have a fully armed pike pikeman squad now, so I should be okay here. Scandinavian phalanx remains undefeated. Okay, one on one. Wait, the pikes are dispersing? What the heck is going on? They're not even fighting. The tower guard he doesn't run away like that. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Just uh, slaughter the sword master there. Okay. Yeah, the pikes are done. Okay. Uh, execute a successful retreat here. Take one of the commandeer, one of the bandit boats. Uh, we'll call this one. Uh, we'll call this one a. All right, so maybe we won't crush it first time around. It, it's, you know, second time's the charm, guys. Second time's the charm. I guarantee you it'll be a win. Second time's the charm, boys. Okay, okay. What the heck is going on here? How does it... All right, boys. And in this game on the final mission, the second playthrough. Now let's play it right here. We got two heavily armored defensive pikeman units and one strategically positioned archer unit. We'll place the archer in the top on the high ground. We'll place the pikeman on the low ground here. Archers, you know, very effective against pikes, but if we just charge into them, we eliminate the threat. Nice and easy. Archers are useless in hand-to-hand uh, -hand form hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, uh, pikes do not have shields, so they're gonna take some they're gonna take some hits from the archers, but that'll be okay. We'll send our pikes over to rest and recover. We'll position ourselves on the high ground, and our archers will stay on the second level in order to maintain overwatch on all positions. Okay, our pikes will get healed. Oh, looks like we have one, two landing parties, approximately six men each. Okay, we'll position one pike squad to cover the high ground there. Okay, the other squadron is torching our buildings. We need that money, so we're going to send our other field pike squad down. They were, uh, they're currently battling the swordsmen. We should be okay here. We should be okay. Decimated our swordsmen, but we killed a few of them. All right, we'll just position, we'll move them in. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, not on the cliff, not on the cliff. Okay, don't let them in. Oh, no. Uh, okay, we still outnumber them. We should be okay here. Archers are doing their jobs. Okay, archers aren't bad. Gotta use the tower guard in order to protect the buildings. Okay, the swords masters. Okay, the bandits are coming in. They're torching our houses. Both of our pikes are very wounded. I'm extremely wounded. I don't know if we're gonna make this one. Okay, house is gone. Both houses are gone. All right, come on. Okay, we have. Oh, wow, wow, oh my god, two squadrons of elite swordsmen. I think we're fleeing with the pikes. Oh my goodness, pikemen's gone, all right. Retreat with the bowmen, retreat the bowmen here. Okay, hey, one make, one guy made it out. Okay, I think we're good here. I think we're, wait, wait, why can't I escape? Oh my goodness. He trapped the banner carrier. That's crazy, he trapped the The AI is conspiring to induce a loss. All right, third time. We are not losing the third time, guys. Boys, we are not losing the third time. This is crazy. I was going to beat this game in one playthrough, and now we got to try three times? This is crazy. All right, we're going to play it. We're going to play it from the top. No mistakes. No trolling. Well, we, never, we didn't troll the last two times, but still. This game, the AI scales the difficulty with your level of play. So if you play well, it will scale it so that it just gives you waves and waves and waves of enemies and it gives you no time to adapt. Literally. I mean, I saw it in the first game. I saw it in the second game. I bet you I'll see it in the third game. Alright, so one of the tactics we have to utilize is the concept of 
uh, concept of outnumbering your enemy in a pitched battle. Napoleon purposely devised the strategy in the Napoleonic Wars in order to defeat the mon monarchies of Europe. And what he did was, he divided the enemy forces and then he concentrated his forces in order to bring to bear more forces on the battlefield than his opponent. So even though his army, let's say, was outnumbered three to one, he would spread them around, he would spread the opponent's armies around, and then he would consolidate his army to attack the enemy. So we're doing the same concept here, we're using two squadrons to attack one squadron as it comes in, thereby inducing the advantage. And no matter what the AI does in this case, we'll be able to win. Alright, moving forward, uh, we don't have enough to buy an upgrade first off, so we're just going to proceed to the next island. We're going to conquer this thing. No problem here. Beautiful artwork here. Beautiful indie, indie style artwork. Uh, we have three basic units, as we know. We have the pikemen, the swordsmen, and then we have the archers. Pikemen, specializing in defense, cannot move and attack. Swordsmen move and attack, but, you know, they are very vulnerable. They're also very flexible. So they're going to take losses when they attack. Then you have the archers. Um, no, absolutely no hand-to-hand -hand combat, but they have the ability to do the ranged combat, and they have the ability to strike their pikes. They would be useful. Personally, I like the pikes the best, because the Scandinavian phalanx cannot be defeated. It can only... It can only be induced to fail due to the AI. The pikes should never fall to any army because they defeat any source of unit. <laughs> Archer units can only whittle them down, but as soon as the pikes get within range, they kill them. And then there's something called the giant that the enemies can send at you later on, and pikes are specialized to beat them. So pikes are literally the best. Unit. They just not. Whoa. Okay, that's getting close. Okay, retreat, retreat. He didn't retreat! Guys, you saw that, right? The AI didn't let me retreat the unit. It's, I mean, come on, guys. Bros. Bros, I can't be held responsible for that. Chat, come on. There's no way I can be held responsible for that. I, look, guys, we're not going to give up on the third playthrough, okay? We're not going to throw in the towel. We're going to be fighting this one to the death. And I guarantee you, I'm going to win this. I mean, <laughs> come on, boys. Come on, boys. Ugh. Yeah, I retreated with that unit, you know, but he decided to take a break and... Dude, the AI is prioritizing his units over mine. It's... It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. But luckily, we picked an island where we get in a militia unit, so... We'll be okay here. Um... I just had to... I just had to go with shields here. We need the flexibility. If we go with pikes... Even though the pikes are the superior unit, shields have the most versatility against archers. And yeah, I mean, there it is, sending archers at us. It's like they anticipated us, but we anticipated the AI. So, that's how you beat the game. You anticipate what he is going to anticipate, or she's going to anticipate. Let's, let's assume she for now, because it's a, it's a devilish, it's a devilish kind of sly AI. Honestly. It doesn't increase the difficulty until you position your troops right. And see, I'm not even I'm not even performing optimally here. I should be you know, attacking with both units. I guarantee you, as soon as I attack with both units, they're gonna send just the onslaught of weapons at us. Just four. Is the AI is the AI have decided to to adjust to the normal difficulty here? We'll, we'll use the regular outnumber tactic. Yep, just destroy them. Oh, wow, AI uh, really cut down our militia there. That will be okay, okay. Uh, archers, we'll send the shields, we'll send both units in. Uh, let's pull back our militia units. They don't have a shield, so they don't, can't block the arrows, but our, our swordsmen should be able to take them out. Swordmaster should execute their archers. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy, bros. Bros, tell me now, am I going to win this game or not? Am I going to beat this on the third playthrough or am I, not, am I just going to fall again? Dude, cast your vote right now, I guarantee it. Now, I'm looking at the chat right now. It looks like you guys... You guys want pikes? 
All right, we can throw some pranks in there. We can throw some pranks in there. But, you know, some people would like the archers, trust me. But, you know, we'll throw the pikes in there. Now, we'll throw in an upgrade, but let's uh, select a good island as well. All right, uh, we'll do we'll do Ulrich as the pike. Should be good here. We'll throw, we'll go, uh, we'll go on this island here. It gives us more choices for the next island that we can choose. Um, so you got, you know, we got three more rounds remaining before we uh, succeed on this playthrough. And I, boys, we are gonna succeed, bros. Very gonna succeed. I love the artwork here. It's very, very indie style, very nice. We have one strategic pathway to the top. So we're gonna obviously position our defensive unit at the top of the cliffs. Take the high ground against them. Um, and then we'll position our flexible unit at the bottom to react to certain enemies as they approach. Namely, archers. Okay, one unit approaching. We'll send the pikes over there. Yep. <laughs> whoa, whoa, he blocked like 20 shots. <laughs> Guys, bros, you saw that, right? The shield blocked 20 shots. My shield men don't block 20 shots, but theirs do. Guys, the AI is adjusting the probabilities because of my positioning. Bros, come on. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it, it literally takes 20 shots to kill the, their, their swords. All right, well, at least they're going to be... Uh, okay, they ignore the pikes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, as soon as I attack them, and then they send the swordsmasters in to destroy the pikemen. It, it just renders the pikemen useless. Even though, statistically, the pikemen should be the best unit, because the AI is abusing the prioritization system of the units, it just completely nullifies the... Uh, the stat bonuses of the AI. Okay, well, we're not going to fight out here. Why are we fighting out here, you know, on the valley? We're going to fight here in the mountaintop and use the pikemen's, yeah, reach in order to really screw up the AI here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give him anything here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It takes 20 shots, but, you know, eventually you take him out. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so you know, pikemen are the best unit. It's just this kind of uh, this kind of AI abuse where it punishes you severely for any kind of non-defensive move, any kind of neutral move, any kind of aggressive move, any kind of movement in general. It punishes you, which kind of just nullifies the whole purpose of the pikes. I don't know. Maybe if there was a way to react to it as a player, you'd be able to do it. Okay. All right, new new map here. Looks like yep, looks like this one way up. We're just gonna position ourselves smartly, and if the AI if the AI adjusts to us again, the AI adjusts. Okay, we can't control what the AI does. We can only control what our what we do. And let me tell you, we're gonna position ourselves strategically here. Place the pikes in front. We'll place the shield or sorry, the shields in front, pikes behind. Cover the only entrance way. Looks like they're sending in some uh, sword masters. Let's give us a shot here. Uh, uh, why are the, why are our shield men, why are our warriors deciding to go into hand-to-hand -hand combat? Let the pikes do their job here. There's no way that they can abuse the pikes in this case. Okay, sending in another six. That's pretty good. Yeah, and see, oh man, this position's even better. See, this is the best position in the game. You can knock them off of the cliff. So it doesn't even matter if their shields block 20, uh, you know, 20 stabs. Okay, so now they're sending in groups of like, you know, 10 or 8 men now, but no shield, so there's really no way to break through. Yeah, that's the thing, that pikemen are unbreakable, you can't just... Okay, what the heck is going on here? Now they send over like 15 troops? As soon as I take the best positioning, they send in 15? This is crazy. Okay, well, you know, you're not going to be able to beat this positioning here. I'm, you know, he tried, the AI failed. Because players, it was designed for to let the players win. Okay, they're sending in a few more. But it's just six. Yeah, the AI's throwing in the towel here. Come on, bros. Bros. The AI's hand, he caught the AI's hand in the cookie jar. And bazam, we're going to win this one easy. Bros. Did I call it or did I call it? Dude, the third, the third playthrough, we're going to boss this game. We're going to destroy it. We have three more rounds. We're going to kill it here. Got six more. Oh, forgot five more gold to spend. We're gonna spend it on. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make it so that the AI really hates us. We're gonna spend it on another pipe unit. Yeah, we're gonna send it. We're gonna spend it on the least, 
the most oh. abusable unit, but also the least, uh, statistically, the least, uh, the, the unit that has the least potential of getting destroyed. The pike, the, the best defensive unit. Oh. All right, we'll also uh, advance one of our skills for the shields. We'll also upgrade, uh, you know, upgrade the militia of the pikes. Um, what that upgrade did with the shields, it doesn't really matter, but it's a it's a nice skill upgrade to have later on in the game. It allows me to uh, to jump off a cliff to do some damage. Uh, in this case, uh, kind of a wide open plane, not really a chokehold unless I hold the top. But I'm not going to give up the buildings on the bottom. Now I'd be giving up gold. So uh, we're going to go ahead and throw down uh, throw down the pikes down there to you know protect it. With pretty good odds here, pretty good odds. This is the final round. Okay, uh, send the shields down, send the pikes down. Position them together. Okay, well, well, let's catch them on the beach here. Whoa, they pushed us back here. Whoa, okay, our pikes were stunned here. Okay, yeah, let's back the pikes off. All right, let's let's think about this. We're not gonna lose on the final. We're not gonna lose on the final match, boys, bros. We're not gonna lose on the final match. Let's not do that. We're gonna send the pikes in the heel. We're gonna use the sword masters. There it is, perfect. An archer unit. Use the sword masters to kill the archers. With Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the shield? The archers shot three of my guys even though they had shields? That's crazy. That's crazy. The AI scripted it so that... Guys, bros, the whole point of the shield unit is it blocks the arrows. Bros, this is completely cheating. <laughs> this is crazy, bros. Oh my god, I just lost another shield unit. I just lost another one. I just lost another one. This is crazy, bros. This is crazy. It's like it's ignoring the shield. The shield is supposed to block the arrows. It's ignoring the shield. This is crazy, gross. The AI is pissed that I defrauded another pikeman unit. Okay, okay. It's sending in the regular sh swordsman. But, you know, there's only a narrow chokehold here. I can just send the pikes in there. Yeah, bro. They're going to just suicide the units. Yeah, just, yeah, just, just... Wait, wait. What's going on? Bro. Bros! Bros! The swordsman unit charged through my pikes! Just pushed them aside! Guys! Guys! That, that's not how it works! The pikemen are supposed to be unbreakable. You charge into a picket line full of spears and you're not going to be able to live to tell the tale. They just smash through our lines. Bros! This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Our swordsman is gone. We have like two pikemen units left. We have one swordmaster. I don't know. Uh, okay, he's avoiding. He's he's game theorying us now. He's avoiding our unit, waiting for us to move in. He kills the pikeman. Okay, it's just one on one now. Come on, I stunned him. Oh, bros, not even close. I've not even close, bros. Come on, it's not even close, dude. If we continue this campaign, dude, we totally totally crush it. Come on, let's be serious now. Yeah, 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 battle versus battle of you know player versus AI. Player won today. Pretty cool. Just don't underestimate the hard difficulty on this game, bros. Don't underestimate it, bro. If you're if you're interested in more gameplay, if you're interested in more uh, bad work, go down to my channel. Let me know what you think. All right, bros. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think, honestly. Alright, boys. Catch you next time.